Well, most Americans have, uh, I just always show this picture. Switzerland is called, of course, in the heart of Europe, not Sweden. They mix this up with Sweden. Sweden is over here. And then we have Italian part, the French part, the German part, and the Austrian part in uh, Austria. We have four different languages. We have uh, German, we have French, of course, because we are bordering uh, to all these countries, and then Italian part, and this is a kind of Latin part. We live over here. We have uh, 8 million people living in Switzerland. We have four national languages and uh, uh, a standard language that we speak, standard German. And uh, we have uh, our religious situation is very complicated or maybe for some people very easy to understand because we have the Roman Catholics and then we have a Protestant <coughs> movement. And the Protestants are not the same as in your country. So the Protestants are the Reformed Catholics. So uh, we belong to this group here. The, this group contains the Muslims, maybe over 5% of this is Muslim, and then the denomination like Jehovah Witness, Baptist Church, Salvation Army, and of course Churches of Christ. So you see we are a minority among the minorities. And those people here, when you are born in Switzerland, you are born either in a Catholic family or in a Protestant family. So you get, of course, baptized as an infant, and as soon as you get your first salary, you are taxed through the, ch the, uh, the state tax. You got the state tax and then a church tax, either one, you know, you pay. So <coughs> we first have to get to know people and disconnect them from their mainstream church. Church and state is not separated in our country and that makes it so hard to approach people because they think that's Christianity. And if you come up with something else than that, you are a cult, you are a sect, you know, and so uh, we have it not easy to approach people, but I grew up in this environment and that's my country and I love it and I do everything that I can in order to reach people. We had, in the, after World War II, Zurich, there was a missionary, an American missionary, in Geneva was an American missionary, and which one? Bern was an American missionary. Bern is the capital of Switzerland. And uh, we had three congregations. Now we can say we have about 10 congregations in Switzerland with a total membership of about uh, 500 people or so. And in St. Gallen, we started in St. Gallen. Actually, my parents got baptized over here when I was about <laughs> one or two years old raised so far in a Catholic environment and then they moved to Thun with another family after about uh, the missionary left here after 25 years he went back to America and appointed another uh, leader there and so they went to Thun, started a new congregation and I got baptized there I got to know my wife Bridget and uh, I taught her and then I married her and uh, so we were there as a family, but I wanted to become a preacher and I didn't know how I could uh, be well educated enough because when they asked me, the brethren, to, when I was 20 years old, I started preaching every third or fourth week and uh, I had about 30 or 40 hours for a sermon and I had no outline, nothing, I didn't know how to do it. So I, I learned a lot with, from other ministers from here or so, also from my father, but it wasn't enough and that's why it was for us a great day when we got the letter, yes you can, you know, and then <laughs> we went to IBC and they provided us with a home, with uh, fur uh, furniture or some uh, things for the kitchen and Rogersville Church of Christ was very good to us and others also. This is actually the picture of way Brother Wayne knows us this way. That's how we got started over here. Uh, that was our picture that we sent to IBC. 
and this is 91 through 94, the picture when I graduated. And that's how we got started in Switzerland, in our home. Bridget's brother, our daughter Amian. So we took the Lord's Supper on Sunday morning, we invited people, and 1991 we already grew to with a lot of visitors uh, back and forth. And now we have this group here, November 2011. We had some more, we had sometimes e over 20 pe people, uh, members. We had 15 baptisms over the last 15 years. And we've lost some, some went to other churches, some went, uh, for instance, one girl who was baptized uh, got to know a young boy in, in the congregation where uh, my father preached. And uh, my brother actually is preaching there now in Thun because he went to Arkansas and then to Memphis and got his master there and he's preaching in Thun. And he, uh, my, my parents are too old now to, uh, to, uh, to watch over the congregation, so to say. They have a lot of physical problems. They are over 80 years old. And my brother is preaching there, and they have so young people there. And the young man got in love with our Angelica. And so, of course, we've lost her this way. And there were other situations how we've lost members. But this group now is actually my team, so to say. Uh, well, it's not my team, it's God's team, of course. And uh, we can work very well together. We sat down and we said, listen, I showed them a little bit the history, how the church in St. Gallen got established, and I told them, we are entering now a new phase, a phase that we can reach out. Actually, it would have been great if we, if we could have started with this group from the very beginning. So I, it, take, it took me 15 years just to get this group together. And, but now we can say, since about a good year, maybe almost two years, we, we formed some working groups, four different working groups, one who is responsible for our website, another one who is responsible uh, with for ads and seminars and another one is responsible for a booth in the city and uh, still another one uh, my wife is responsible for women's class women's meetings and stuff like this so I show you what we did this is the group where I am in with Andy we created a new website we, we searched for a logo Logo is so important that people can remember you and this says Gemeinde Christi St. Gallen, Church of Christ St. Gallen with this logo there. We have here something special, uh, I don't know if this is the right word, something contemporary or so. Uh, and we offer German according to Luke. And so I met so many, several students, I have now five students who are coming on a regular basis that uh, we have foreigners in our country and if you don't speak German you have hard to find any kind of jobs so uh, they need to learn German first and uh, the problem is that they have maybe went to some schools the government was offering them and they got a theoretical knowledge about German but they don't know how to put <coughs> these words into a sentence and so forth so I let them read uh, a paragraph from Luke, out of Luke and then I try to discuss with them some of them know a little bit English then we can talk English together and some have no clue about English and then I do this and that and you know <laughs> so that, that, that's the way we uh, communicate but this has been a great tool through this website we got already some visitors over the past month the young people they have cell phone most of the people today have cell phone and what do they do when they search for they don't go to a complicated word system anymore either they use mac or their cell and they make scrolling church of christ so gone oh that looks nice okay maybe i go and visit it that's how we got some visitors in the past few months through this website this is another website that we uh, remodeled. I have about 500 
uh, files on it on different subjects like back to the Bible, uh, Jesus Christ, baptism, the church, all the New Testament survey, and everything that I study and I put it in a form, in a PDF form that uh, people can download it, even people from the church. We have about a thousand visitors each month on this website and uh, uh, Andy told me that he saw on the on the statistics that uh, we are connected with a Catholic theology school in Colon or so. <laughs> they have it as they have our website as a link. So I hope they learn something. <laughs> <laughs> this is our new. Uh, tool that we use since August. It cost eighty dollars a month, uh, eighty dollars uh, a week, and it is here in in the newspaper. There is a church website. We have the Christian sites here. We have Roman Catholic. We have Evangelical Reformed Church. We have here a Pentecostal move, movement, and the, this says Evangelische Allianz. That means the Alliance of Evangelical Church. But here is, of course, a separation, and that's our uh, uh, ad in the newspaper. And so, this is the booth that we started a few years ago, and uh, in the 1st of sept September, that was a Saturday morning, we were there. We, uh, Marcello is responsible for this, and so he bought some T-shirts and uh, jackets with our logo, and in the back it says Church of Christ, and uh, so we are there on the street, tagged, you know, <laughs> in a city of about 80,000 people, and it is not easy, I can tell you, it's a very good experience, every Christian should uh, go through because you get a lot of rejection and people tell you uh, some, sometimes bad things and sometimes just they say go away or leave me alone or curse even or whatever you know but there are always a, a few maybe a handful of very good conversations you made all day long and those few conversations they make up my day so to say and we learned to to deal with the rejection. It's uh, uh, an important part of uh, stabilize your faith, you know, then you, you know for what you are standing for. We do uh, uh, grill parties, <coughs> gospel meetings do not work anymore so good, so we do uh, kind of a grill party. This is Andy, our son-in-law, and uh, he is a great son to us. Uh, he is just a wonderful man. He's always helping. We could have a grill party in his home. And uh, he <coughs> had a speech before the grill party, talked, confessed his faith for his friends that he invited. We had a prayer. and. And we want to do this more and more this way, that we have a short devotional connected with a fun part. We had the fireworks, of course. Everyone had to bring something. In Switzerland, if the people come and they are served and getting everything free, they think, ooh, you know. But if you tell them, bring some firework, bring uh, some sausages or bring a salad or something, then they feel a part of the group and that's what we did and uh, so we were this group I just thought this is the moment that I have to take a picture and uh, maybe bring it to America to show we were the first of August our Swiss National Day we had a great celebration and uh, we confessed Christ and we after this evening we said let's do it again Let's do some more things like this. We already did this summer uh, <coughs> a hiking thing that we went on bar, uh, on a barefoot trail. 
we stepped into the mud so deep and then after this we, we made a fire with sausages, we prayed, we were singing around the fire, confessed Christ again and that's uh, very a very good way to introduce the church and, and God in today's world. This is the women's Bible class with Bridget. Uh, and then of course uh, we also do a lot of seminars and kind of something similar like gospel meetings but just one shot evenings or so. Uh, had also some men's retreat that I was preaching on and that's actually the summer, summary of all what we do. We don't want to go here through all the details. We have ads in the newspapers, up, updating free websites, delivering brochures, inviting people on the street, one-on-one -on -one Bible studies, German Bible classes for foreigners, gospel meetings and seminars, fellowship for women and men and joining in Swiss churches programs as uh, it would be for instance uh, children's, pro uh, children's camp, women's retreat, preachers meeting and even supporting other missions. Uh, when Japan had a, was broken by a tsunami, uh, the Swiss brethren sat together and we, we, had, we made a fund and all the churches spent into this fund. We had over four or five thousand dollars that we could send over the brethren in Japan. And so we do this with other things. Yeah, that's my sh short introduction and uh, a short form uh, just to tell you I'm so very thankful for IBC I would not miss it uh, or uh, I'm, I'm just I pray to God that you will find your purpose uh, after you study all you could it's a fa an important phase in your life just studying first and then go out and do what you can in order to win souls Thanks.